Welcome everyone. In this video, I am going to explain that how to work with PIC microcontrollers or how to write an embedded C code for PIC microcontrollers. So firstly, you have to download the MPLAB XID software from the microchip official website. So this is the latest version of Flux IDE. It is available for Windows, Linux and Mac systems. After that you have to download the compiler. In the microchip website there are three compilers given. The first is XC8 for the 8 bit PIC microcontrollers and next is XC16 for the 16 bit PIC microcontrollers and the last is 32 XC32 for 32 bit PIC microcontrollers these compilers are also available for Windows Linux and Mac systems now the MPLAB XIDE is a freeware software but these compilers are not freeware. However, you can download the 60 days evaluation edition for your practice. So after installing this software, when you start this software, you will see this page. It is a start page of MPLAB X IDE. Here you can see the different icons. It is a quick start. It is a take a tour, download compilers and assemblers, user guides, release notes, and many other things. So starting with a project, click on create a new project. Choose here a stand alone project. Here you have to choose one of the PIC family. There are different families given for 8 bit, 16 bit, and 32 bit microcontrollers. It is a baseline 8 bit microcontrollers which will cover the series of PIC 10, PIC 12, PIC 16. The next is mid range 8 bit microcontrollers, advanced 8 bit microcontrollers, which is PIC 18, 16 bit PIC microcontrollers, PIC 24. And many more. I am choosing here advanced 8 bit microcontrollers. After selecting the family, you have to select one device or one microcontroller of that family. So here I am choosing PIC 18F4550. It is an advanced 8 bit PIC microcontroller. It has 32 kilobytes of flash memory, 2 kilobytes of data memory, additional EEPROM, USB compatible and many more things. Now click next. Now select here the programmer you are using. I am using PIC Kit 3. Here you have to select the compiler as my microcontroller PIC 18F4550 comes under the advanced 8-bit PIC microcontrollers I am selecting XC8 for 8-bit PIC microcontrollers click next now name the project click finish after this whole process your project is created you can see here now you have to create a header file so right click on the header files new and choose C header file name the header file so your header file is created now we don't need this written material so please delete it in this header file you have to set some 
initial condition some configuration bits. That's why I named this file config.h. So for setting these configuration bits, click window, click on window, pick memory views and configuration bits. Here you settle different things that which oscillator you are using internal or external, the speed of the oscillator and the CPU clock source and the USB clock source. You can read these things detail in the data sheet of this device. So firstly, I am using an external oscillator of 20 megahertz, which is a high speed oscillator. So here I am choosing the option HSPLLHS. It means that high speed oscillator external oscillator and PLL mod is enabled. PIC 18F4550 has an internal PLL phase locked loop that can generate a 96 megahertz clock from an input of 4 megahertz. I am choosing here this option divide by 5 which will divide my oscillator frequency 20 megahertz by 5 and gives output of 4 megahertz and this 4 megahertz output act as an input for the PLL circuit and PLL will further generate a 96 megahertz clock internally. Now this 96 megahertz clock is for both CPU and USB. In the second option, I am choosing the prescaler factor for the CPU. As I have enabled the PLL, so these are my options 96 megahertz PLL source. Either divide by 2 or divide by 3 or divide by 4 or divide by 6. If you choose this option, divide by 2, it means that your CPU clock will run on 48 megahertz which is quite a high speed but I am choosing divide by 6 option it means that my CPU clock will run on 16 megahertz after selecting the CPU clock source you have to select USB clock source I am choosing this option USB clock source comes from the 96 megahertz PLL divided by 2 it means that my USB will run on a high speed 48 megahertz. There are some other things like this brownout reset if you want to enable or disable this feature. Watch talk timer I don't need this one in my this project. MCLRE as I'm not going to use an external reset circuit so I'm disabling this feature also after setting these configuration bits click here generate source code to output so your code is generated according to the configuration bits now select all copy and paste it here after that this whole process at the last you have to define the your CPU clock frequency and the syntax for this is hash define underscore XTAL underscore FREQ for frequency and the frequency you are going to use 
as I am going to use 16 megahertz. So your header file is completed. Now save this header file. After this you have to create a, your code. Your embedded C code. For writing your code right click on the source files. Click new and choose and choose C main file now name this file click finish now you write the code firstly include the header file that you have created as I have created this con config.h hash include config.h I'm not I'm not going to write here the whole code I'm just pasting it here so this is my C code for interfacing a LCD with this microcontroller PIC 18F4550 after writing your code click on build main project and wait for this message build successful now I have to check my code that uh, either it will work or not so I am going to use a software simulation for checking my this code so I have made this circuit on a software Proteus which is very well known software for software simulation it will show that how my code will work in real time it is a 16 cross 2 LCD it is PIC 18F4550 a oscillator of 20 megahertz with a 2 22 picofarad sonic capacitors now double click on this device or right click and click edit properties and firstly write here the frequency you are going to work with as I am working with 16 megahertz so I have written this 16 megahertz frequency and the next step is to upload a hex file as you know that I have created this project example so open your project folder and open this folder DIST default production and this is your hex file example.x click OK now I'm going to check this
so it is showing that my code will work in real time just I have to make a clean circuit that's guys thank you for watching this video